BlizzCon just happened. Yes, BlizzCon happened. It's come and it's gone. And so all of your major Blizzard announcements are here. Uh, there were some really cool things that came out. Uh, there's a lot that came out that I'm not going to cover, but I'm going to bullet point a couple of the, the really important ones for you. So one big thing is they announced how StarCraft will be released next year. They will release episodic content next year. Um, and so you'll have new adventures with a series... Uh, couple of different releases smaller releases rather than a really big uh you know expansion or another number to the game because they say that people love playing those stories and they just want more of them which yeah yeah who, who wouldn't <laughs> so okay. that's why you play those they games give the people what they want give the people what they want and this is a good idea too because how hard is it just to build a, a map and say okay this is we're gonna you know all right this is a special thing and you have to do it this way and you know, just give yourself little challenges rather than either bumping up against uh, people online that are way better than you and they're going to crush you every single time. It's, it's hard to play StarCraft 2 online nowadays. Too many people are too good. Um, or Stay just playing or against StarCraft a computer. Which, or anything else. I mean, that's one yeah. of the most competitive yeah. games there is yeah. right now. Uh, it's better than just, uh, you know, playing against just a computer enemy. Okay, I'm just going to go fight him. It just gives a little bit more to it. So next year we will get some uh, littler releases, which I actually really like. So that's that That was a big announcement I thought was really cool. Um, then the next announcement was really, um, not really an announcement, but there's something that was taken from a conversation with StarCraft II lead developer Tim Morton. He says that they will look for feedback from fans on what RTS to make next. They're either going to start working Warcraft on that StarCraft. Uh, they're either going to start working on a StarCraft 3 or a Warcraft 4 or possibly a new IP. And with Warcraft movie coming out, I imagine we're going to get a Warcraft 4. Now, I don't know how this is going to work with World of Warcraft. Is it going to bump heads with the, the story they're telling over there? Yeah, I'm... Well, you know what? I'm actually surprised that they're even um, considering different RTSs. I had thought that at this point they were just going to go with the idea of... Um, World of Warcraft is their MMORPG branch. StarCraft is their RTS branch. Uh, the Heroes of the Storm is their Dota, MOBA. whatever, MOBA. MOBA branch. Yeah, I thought they had decided on the path that they were going to do. Um, and no longer, I thought they had just abandoned the RTS idea with Warcraft. And Well, I'm glad they Starcraft didn't because, is, that, again, that was one of the yeah. most pivotal games of my, my childhood. No, and I, mean, I, I prefer Warcraft. That game. I honestly, I prefer Warcraft to StarCraft. Yeah, so I totally always have. I, I honestly um, do. I know a lot of people prefer StarCraft, which is why it's so competitive and so so big. But yeah, I, I, I awesome would like to see a new Warcraft. On that game. But yeah, I would love to see another Warcraft. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't really ever get into Warcraft 3. Um, not saying it was bad or anything like that. It just was too good for my computer at the time. But yeah. Warcraft 2 won, ran perfectly uh, anytime I tried to put it in. Um, I still play so, Warcraft 2. I'm just, yeah. just saying. That's Amazing game. Guy, I Amazing game. So I, I'm looking forward to that. But a new IP wouldn't be a bad idea, I don't think, either. Uh, they'd have to... I don't know where they'd take it. They have space. They have fantasy. So uh, I guess military style. But I almost don't want to see them do that. Maybe do another type of fantasy one. They, some they do a Diablo out. RTS, maybe. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. You could see something like that. They could definitely fit some of that stuff in. So Demons versus yeah, not uh, demons. They, I guess. Uh, okay <laughs> <laughs> okay so yeah but yeah you can see something cool like that but that really wouldn't be a new ip so they that's he did say new ip okay so yeah, that, that does make me curious and I, I it's been a while since we've gotten anything new from blizzard even though i say that coming out of my mouth is about something new coming out of blizzard but uh i'm just gonna stick by that statement until i read the next line we yeah. haven't seen many new ips out of blizzard We've seen new yeah. stuff yeah. that yeah, use but, old IPs. Yeah, but so the next announcement coming out of, of BlizzCon was that Overwatch, a new IP, um, <laughs> so, even though I just said they didn't have many new IPs, but they, they don't. They really don't. They like to take their time and, and really put a lot of love and care into the games that they do make. Um, but Overwatch will be number one. It will be on PS4 and Xbox One as well as PC which people speculated on, but I don't know if it was confirmed until BlizzCon. Uh, I know I wasn't sure. I was thinking I was going to have to go out and buy a gaming PC to be able to play that amazing-looking game, but now I'm glad I can just pop it in my PS4. Uh, but one thing they will not have is cross-platform multiplayer. 
Um, that's and been that's the case because... for a long time. For, for yeah. I, I don't know very many games that do have cross-platform. And Some people I were thinking that this want. might be one if they announced that, but they, they said no because there will be an obvious advantage to the PC players. You know, the whole mouse and keyboard, especially mm. in a shooter game, does lend a little bit of an advantage to PC players. So they just wanted to keep it more competitive and keep those separate, which I understand. That makes sense. Uh, I, I don't think it'll really kill the player pool either because each one of those systems, PS4 and Xbox, have huge fan bases. I mean, PS4 has sold over 29-something million co- PS4s out there. So plenty of people to play with. Plenty of people to play with. And I know Xbox isn't too far behind. So... I'm excited. Now, this is a game that I, it was going to be hard for me to play, but I was going to try to play to a game now that I will 100% play. Uh, I'm looking forward to Blizzard popping up on my PS4. Uh, and then the last piece of big news, other than like they did have the Warcraft trailer, all that stuff came out, um, was that WoW, World of Warcraft, will be getting a new expansion, and it's called Legion. And some of the designers and developers have said that this will be the big, the biggest and the best expansion to date so they're still trying to draw that dwindling fan base in um and it's with the movie coming out, but it's still pretty huge like oh yeah dwindling. we're still i mean when, when i say dwindling i mean it went from like 14 million a couple of years ago to like 7 million now but that's still 7 million dedicated players so yeah. and every time they uh, release an expansion they do tend to bring back a whole lot of players well yeah because people come back and they play all the new content so Mm -hmm. they're saying legion will be really cool it will bring a lot of players back and um yeah i'm just wondering how the story will go maybe they'll say something about the world of warcraft movie or or the warcraft movie yeah Um, yeah this actually makes me even more surprised like i was saying before that they they didn't make the movie as kind of a lead into whatever the next expansion would be as well, i'm glad they movie. didn't I'm, I'm glad they kind yeah, of no, took the, their time the movie still looks amazing property i'm just saying that uh, i'm just surprised that that's not how they played the game but hey they they know what well, they're doing I, better than i do probably I so. movie, I'm, I'm glad that they didn't play it that way because when you have to tie it into the video games it just doesn't work it, it's been proven just not to work very well so i think it could have i don't i'm not saying it would be as good I'm just saying I think it could have worked with Warcraft with the way that they, they've they already done that with their books and other media before where they tie everything in together. Um, they've been working with this uh, property for so long that I think they could have pulled it off. But uh, either way, I, I'm fine with the way that they're doing it. I'm just surprised that with such a, a big expansion coming out and this big transition point all at the same time, they didn't. That's not the strategy they went with, but... Yeah, it is interesting. I'm just saying. Yeah, it, 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 I'm surprised. So. Yeah, that's true. It is. It is kind of interesting. But that was the big news coming out of BlizzCon. I don't know. Uh, there, there's other news that came out of there, but that was just the stuff that caught my eye, and I really wanted to pay attention to. So, hit us up. Let us know what were you most excited about that came out of BlizzCon. Comments down below, of course. At what's my face on Twitter, Google Plus, and Facebook. Always good ways to get a hold of us. Uh-huh.